social workers responsible for the highly oppressive outcome of the 60 scoop by Kennedy Costin and Michaela Balderson. Our narrative is going to be focused around the role of social workers during the 60 scoop. We are going to outline the negative influences that social workers and the government had on Indigenous people's lives and then compare it to how social workers relate to and interact with the Indigenous population today. The 60s scoop was a period of time where social workers would take Aboriginal children from their families and place them in foster homes or for adoption. According to Wikipedia, an estimated 20,000 Aboriginal children were taken from their families and fostered or adopted out to primarily white, middle-class families, some within Canada and some in the U.S. or Western Europe. At the time, the government and society believed that Aboriginal children were savages and that they were not receiving proper parental guidance. The goal of the government was to assimilate all Aboriginal children and extract all aspects of their culture. We are going to focus specifically on the story of a boy named Richard Cardinal. He is a Métis boy that was a part of the 60s scoop. He was taken from his family and placed in 28 different homes during his 14 years of being part of the Alberta child welfare system. Richard was ripped away from his family so suddenly that there was likely no time for goodbyes. He was only instructed to pack a small suitcase with his belongings. He spent many years living with one white family to the next, and each treated him just as poorly. Richard was abused and terrorized so severely by the white families that it was too much for him to overcome. When he was 17, the unimaginable pain and trauma that he endured caused him to choose to end his life. He hung himself outside of his adopted family's home in 1984. It is important to realize that although Richard Cardinal was taken from his family because his parents were alcoholics, many Indigenous parents did provide proper loving care to their children, yet still had their kids taken away from them. The reason many Indigenous people practice poor parenting skills stemmed from the residential schooling that was implemented by the government. During the 60s scoop, social workers did not realize that what they were doing was wrong, so nobody thought to fight the system. The entire belief and value system at the time did not support the rights of Aboriginals. As emerging social workers, we are aware of the negative implications that social workers had during the 60s scoop and how those actions caused an understandably strenuous relationship between Indigenous people and us now. Reconciliation is in progress and our relationships are being built on. We understand that we will most likely work with Indigenous individuals at some point in our careers and we vow to respect the past and their opinions about our roles. However, we will work hard to help them see that we are truly here to work in their best interest. The Indigenous culture is one of the most accepting and welcoming groups that we have ever witnessed, and we think that we can learn a lot about effective ways to heal and grow by practicing their methods. We apologize for our profession's previous actions and promise to work against the barriers that are in place today. We ask not for forgiveness, but only the opportunity to recreate the relationship between social workers and Indigenous people. To our fellow emerging social workers, we ask that you reflect on this experience and decide your own perspective. We ask that you own our profession's history and acknowledge our responsibility to make things right. We all have different opinions on what reconciliation looks like, but 
I think we can agree that it is time to make changes.